The worst part about Platinum in Plague Tale Requiem are the three trophies tied to mastering the prudence, opportunism and aggressive skills, as these are three bullshit trophies that are unclear in how they work, slightly glitchy in how they unlock, badly implemented in the design of the game and, unfortunately, impossible to fully unlock in your first playthrough which means that you are forced to replay a game that really is only at its best in its first blind run through it, as with subsequent playthroughs being a bit of a chore to get through, as even though you can skip some cutscenes, the game is full of these long-winded, slow and really annoying story sections during gameplay that you simply cannot skip. So, for every cool Uncharted style rat chase sequence, you have a dozen of these slow walking simulator bits that, on a second playthrough where you only need to get to the combat encounters to be able to level up these skills to progress with the trophies, it really does take the wind out of your sails. Exactly. Look, can we just have this in a cutscene? I'd rather have this in a cutscene, man. How's it going back there? This is shit. Just constantly pushing forward, but me made to go really fucking slow all the fucking time. It ain't good, it's boring, it's fucking horrendous, man. I hate it, I fucking hate it. Even more so when after trudging through several hours of story bits in certain chapters with no combat, that when you finally do get to an encounter, it then bullshittingly forces you to play as one playstyle, removing your ability to maybe kill or forcing you to just kill everything, thus locking you out on levelling up a specific skill, then, well, the trophies start to become bullshit real fast. That one bullshit PlayStation trophy. So each of these three trophies are tied to one of the three skills in the game and they unlock once you master that particular skill. This is done by earning enough XP to fill up the bar which is rewarded to you after every single combat encounter with human enemies. After you exit the area, the game will then determine which playstyle you stuck to the most and fill up only one of these three bars. Sadly, and rather annoyingly, you can't mix and match the playing style throughout an encounter, so you can't play aggressively and then stealthily to level them all up slightly. It has to be all of one and one skill type alone. And it's here where problems lie with these trophies and how the skills are implemented and how the XP rewards are earned. You see, the Prudence one appears to be based around stealth at first glance, as its unlock rewards let you make less noise when moving, move faster when crouching, throw stuff further, and perform a stealthily backstab move, so it would make sense for you to have to play stealthily in order to unlock and earn these stealth skills, right? And while f aggressive, you would probably think that you'd have to charge through an encounter, alerting the enemies and brutally murdering them in really gruesome ways for it to count as an aggressive playstyle. Yet, that's not what it is at all, as it instead only matters how many enemies you kill and not the way in which you kill them. Yet the game doesn't clearly explain this to the player making these three trophies even more confusing to try and go for and level up these skills, especially when the perks you unlock also allude to the skills abilities that you think you would need to use in order to earn the XP for that skill type. The prudent stealth skill, for example, it doesn't actually matter if you are spotted at all, you just have to make sure you kill zero or very few enemies in an area, while aggressive is rewarded to you for killing all or pretty much all of the enemies in an area, and then opportunism is for killing around 50% of the enemies in an encounter. So as you can see, it's a rather dumb system that doesn't really make practical sense. 
In my first playthrough I fully leveled up the aggressive skill by killing the majority of the enemies that I saw. I think my prudence was around 50% and my opportunism was around 35% mainly due to the fact that I didn't understand how these worked. So thank heavens for trophy guides online to explain this shit for me because the game sure as hell doesn't. So I then had to go into New Game Plus after beating the game for the first time to try and level up both of these remaining skills in this playthrough to get these trophies and the platinum. And as the prudence was already at 50% due to properly stealthing my way through sections in the first run, I thought I would go and do that first. However, here on New Game Plus, I knew that stealth didn't actually matter, so all I needed to do was simply get to the exit point without accidentally killing someone. And to help me with that, I decided to turn on the invincible mode accessibility setting in the options menu to make it so that humans could no longer kill me. Yeah, I'm cheating, but you know what? This trophy has driven me to it because it's just bullshit making me replay this. You'd think though that that would make this skill really easy to level up, but there were still a few issues with it, as I had to make sure nobody saw me when trying to leave the area, as you would get this little cutscene where a guard would either teleport and grab you, or they would shoot an arrow or a spear at you, oh, preventing God. you from opening the door. So, to get past this, I often would use a smoke bomb pot to throw at the guards by the door and then exit through them while they were choking on all the smoke. The XP does seem to be a bit hit and miss however, as there were definitely a few times where I didn't kill anyone in a combat encounter, yet the other skills were just randomly increased, like at this point in the game, where after getting through this area stealthily, the opportunism skill increased for some random reason. Likewise, in other sections where I couldn't kill anybody, and I never seem to get XP for them on any skill at all, which is bullshit because it just meant that I had to suffer through more of replaying the game and going through those unskippable story walks, story walks again before the next combat opportunity came up for me to level up a bit more. It took me all the way up to chapter 6 into the canyons area before I managed to get the prudent skill fully leveled up and earn that sneaky trophy and after that point all that was left was the opportunism skill and seeing as chapter 6 was a good point to get a lot of encounters and a lot of XP I then went to chapter select and replayed that chapter going through trying to get the opportunism skill and for me this one was by far the worst one to go for as in order to get this skill leveled up you need to kill around half of the enemies in an area but that means you'll end up just running around a big open combat area trying to f awkwardly find and count all of the enemies before you start killing them so that you can work out how many there are in this area and then obviously then know how many you need to kill to be 50%. Is it six? Three, four, five, six. You had your chance. It's six. I'll make it pay for damage. Three there. Here, four, five, six. So again, I used the invisible mode cheat for this and ended up just running around like a madman trying to spot them in the distance or use Hugo's vision if he was with me to spot the enemies more easily. And for the most part it worked, but there were times when I'd perhaps have killed too many or too little and not ended up getting it, which then forced me to go back to chapter select and then replay that chunk of the level to try that encounter again and hopefully this time around kill enough to get the XP boost for the opportunism skill. And this was just really frustrating, even with the invisibility cheat on. I just feel like this whole skill leveling up system is just completely wrong and completely unoptimized and not very thought out well at all. 
I mean, this skill, the opportunism skill, should just go up every time you kill an enemy with alchemy, or whenever you distract enemies with the environment, such as when you throw rocks at boxes to make noise, or you burn the grass to distract a guard, as killing 50% of the enemies in an area is just a weird bullshit way to level up this thing. Likewise, if you're aggressive and you get alerted and you rush in and you brutally murder the enemies, that should be a regressive one. And then for actually going through it stealthily and not being seen, that should level up that one. That would have just worked as a system a whole lot better and it would have been a lot easier for the player to understand. And it also would have allowed you to level up Who both of the skills, now? all three Who of the, the skills, yeah. within the Who same the combat now? encounter. Because Who's you could stealth kill through the first bit. Then if you got spotted, you could just aggressively murder all of the others. Uh, you know, and that would have just worked better as a leveling up system instead of just forcing you to have just one level up per encounter and having it as a dumb kill requirement. So, for those reasons, the sneaky fighter and malignant trophies in a Plague Tale Requiem get a bullshit trophy rating of. What a bullshit trophy that was. Alright, here we go. Let's <laughs> go! Oh, shit! 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 Hold on, I'll, I'll see if there's an. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> shit! 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 Bullshit!